Aaron Cole really settled in in those middle innings. What was he doing that allowed him to be so effective in the middle innings? I, I just thought he got really in tune with his delivery and on a really good page and rhythm with, with Gary. And, and I just thought he started really executing his pitches really well. Um, you know, I think it was just a little more challenging on opening night as well as he did. Tonight, I felt like he really got locked in and started just I mean, the slider was really good. He mixed in some good curveballs. There, there were even some change-ups mixed in there, but I felt like he really started to throw it where and how he wanted to, especially in those middle innings. It seemed like after that first inning, he was pretty upset when he went back to the dugout. He seemed frustrated. What did he say when he went back to the dugout there? What made him so upset? No, I, I think he was just, you know, a little frustrated probably with, you know, a couple pitches, obviously lost the leadoff, leadoff guy there. Um, but he didn't really say much other than obviously a little bit frustrated coming in. And, um, but he, he, he locked it in real quick. And then did you think fatigue was a factor at all in that uh, seventh inning, I believe it was? I don't know. I mean, first time over 100, um, I felt like he was, he was, you know, especially as the game wore on, um, I thought he got really comfortable. And, um, you know, it, it, it may have. Um, you know, happened pretty quick there. You know, he gets two quick outs and then, you know, it's like four pitches later. So um, I don't know, you know, first time up over 100, you know, there might be something there, but um, I thought by and large, he threw the ball really, really well. DJ just picking up where he left off last year, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, a lot of good at bats from him. Uh, good to see. Um, yeah, I mean, he was obviously sets the tone with the homer and then and then keeps piling on. Hey, Aaron. Um, Aaron, this seemed like very much like a business as usual, like all the changes didn't particularly uh, affect you guys. Is that what you, how it felt out there? It did. I thought our mindset was really good. I, I thought it was really good that we got in at a decent hour last night and were able to kind of go through our normal routine and workout. Um, so, you know, I felt like guys were, you know, if you worry about rust after a couple of days, I felt like our guys were, were good to go from the start. And, um, you know, I, I, th I thought last night getting here at a decent hour and being able to go through that was important. Thank you. Aaron, I know it's only been two regular season starts and you had spring with Garrett, but you know, the cameras caught him there in the dugout immediately going after his, his game there on that lineup card. And then like shaking his head, just the way he behaves or how meticulous he is or, or even emotional he is, I guess. I mean, what has stood out to you about the way he is like comportment during a game? I guess. Yeah. Um, he does a really good job of, of balancing a, a real intensity um, with, you know, being able to, keep himself under control. Um, he's, he's very approachable throughout the game. You know, he's not one of those guys that's just blinders on. And, um, you know, I think he likes the dialogue that he has with Gary and with the pitching coach. And um, so, you know, I always think it's important for starting pitchers. It's tough sometimes to be, you know, wired tight and intense and everything. He does a really good job of, of striking that balance of intensity, but really understanding what he wants to do and and you know he's meticulous in his game plan and he he expects to go out and execute it. Aaron uh, just a couple of the moves you made uh, Hicks is that just uh, the heat or is there anything going on with them yeah just getting them out out of there just you know again trying to build guys up and you know obviously Aaron coming back um, from the injury and in a stretch now where we're starting, you know, maybe 13 games here in a row, um, you know, just trying to pick spots and understanding that you got a deep bench and not only a deep bench, but a deep bench of really good players over there that you can run in there. So a chance to get him off his feet the last couple of innings. And just what, what have you seen so far from Gary at the plate? I know we talked a lot about his defense in spring yeah. training, but just, you know, a few games, but it's over 12 now. Any, anything there? Yeah, um, I actually thought his first couple at bats were a little bit better tonight, um, where he did a little bit better of being calm and controlling the zone a little bit better. I thought there were a couple of calls that probably didn't go his way, especially in that first at bat. Um, 
but you know, maybe just coming out of his legs a little bit, um, you know, and, and therefore messing with his timing a little bit. And, you know, I think when he's really in the ground and controlling things, then, then he should take off.